week eight college football breakdown here. Late night battle in the Pac-12. I wanted to make a video about, I mean, if, if this game was at noon, we wouldn't be talking about this game on the channel, but it, it's the late night after dark special in the Pac-12. I know a lot of people are going to bet this game, so I wanted to get my insight out there. We got Washington traveling to Cal, seeing the Huskies, a seven and a half point road favorite. It says 55 and a half. This line is, this total has actually dropped a little bit uh, to about 54 and a half. So Cal's offense put up 13 points against Colorado last week. Clearly not good. Colorado's defense has looked inept against everybody else they've played, and Cal actually lost that game outright to the, the, the winless Colorado Buffs last week. That, that, that's bad. I've had a lot of negative things to say about Justin Wilcox since he's been at that Cal job, but one thing I say repeatedly on this channel, teams are what they are for about eight, nine games a season. You have to account for one or two times a year, teams stepping up and playing much better than they're going to play the rest of the way, and then you know a, a time or two where teams are, are, are going to come out flat and lose a game like Cal lost last week. I, th I think a lot of people will hop on Washington here just because Cal lost that game last week. And I'm just going to tell you, that that's a faulty logic. This is college football. What happened last week has zero bearing as to how I view this game. If anything, this could be a nice bounce back spot for Cal. Washington is a team with a pretty good offense. You know, Michael Penix has adjusted well uh, to that Kalen DeBoer system better than maybe I thought he would. I know those guys worked together uh, back when they were both at Indiana, but I, I thought Washington was an overrated team coming into the season. Um, I think their defense still has, you know, issues and we'll get to that. But, you know, I, I think Michael Penix has played well. He's got good receivers and really where it starts offensively, that offensive line, which was tabbed as supposed to have a breakout year last year, we didn't see it happen. It's finally starting to happen this year, and Washington is really just kind of mauling people up front. Uh, I will say, they haven't been great in the run game this year, and that's something I, I don't expect to be a main feature of that team down the stretch. Cal is one of these defenses that is not really great at one thing, but it also doesn't have a glaring weakness. I, unless we do just get a total clunker from Washington from Michael Penix, from this Washington offense, this would figure to be a matchup where they should be able to have some success through the air at least. On the other side of things, though, like I said, Washington's defense is very poor. Pass rush has been pretty inconsistent this year. Uh, I think they're okay against the run. Really where I think they can be had is in their secondary. I mean, we saw Jaden Delora, who hasn't had the best year for Arizona this year, threw for over 11 yards per attempt against this Washington secondary I mean, I know Washington won last week by double digits, but Arizona still put up 39 in that game, and they haven't shown uh, that kind of prowess this season until they go against a defense like Washington. So for as bad as Cal looked offensively last week, and it was bad. I'm not trying to downplay how bad it is for in 2022 to be losing to a, a team as bad as Colorado. Uh, really, they just took the wrong approach into that game. Colorado has proven that if you just stay disciplined in your ground game, you're eventually going to wear them down. What did Cal do? They threw the ball 52 times. That's not winning football. And it, that's a Justin Wilcox thing. That, that's poor coaching, a poor game plan. Uh, that's honestly a fireball offense. But that being said, you know, throwing the ball in this matchup might work out for them. They, they, they had a running back, Ott, that just totally went off against Arizona. And as it seems like uh, it seems as if that was a one-hit wonder. So I, I can't really expect Cal to have a consistent ground game. Suffice to say, I think both these teams can have success through the air. So seeing this total actually drop below a, a standard total, of, you know, in the mid 50s, now seeing 54 and a half, I would lean towards the over in this game. We, we, we know Washington's going to bring the pace. I know Cal is not necessarily a team that is fast paced, I would say, but I don't think they're so slow as to where this is going to be an incredibly low possession game. I think each team will have plenty of opportunities to strike through the air. I'm recording this on Friday night. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to add this as an official play, maybe just a pizza money play, but because I, I know everybody loves betting these late night games, you know, sometimes I don't endorse that. This is actually one where I think I might have a play in over 54 and a half is my best look in this game. Wouldn't really recommend betting aside. I know a lot of people want to be on Washington here. That defense laying over a touchdown on the road. No, thank you. But I, I think over is my best read here in this late night after dark special. All right, guys, before we get out of here, I know you see this shirt right here. If you're in need of unique but comfortable uh, golf apparel, head over to Proud90.com. They got polos with the colder weather coming, hoodies and quarter zips. Recently added a ladies line. Proud90's got all your golf apparel needs. Browse their selection, and if you see anything you like at checkout, use code Fordham. It's going to get you 15% off your entire order. That's code Fordham. is going to get you 15% off your order at Proud90.com. Support me. Support Proud90 proud90.com